Hey everybody, I'm Mike Keys. Welcome to Keys Outdoors. Well, the 2014 season is about to kick off. I'm hooking up with Brad Rue from Muskie Innovations, and we're gonna go to the Fox River. We're gonna chase some monster muskies. You know, this time of the year, these fish are ultra shallow. We've got the right tool for the right job. Stay tuned, another awesome muskie adventure is about to take place. Man, I just threw in there, big swirl, all of a sudden here he's on me, I mean just waking behind the bait. Tell you what, that'll get your adrenaline going in the morning, man, but he didn't hit it. Something he didn't want to do, that, that fish will go sometime today. All right, buddy, what do we got here? All fish right. on, man. Fish on. Feels like a good ski. Just switch colors, eh? That dozer. Actually. Yes. Black and chartreuse. First cast. It's a hammer. Dude, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Real nice fish. Not hooked real good on that thing. You know, it's uh, it's kind of funny when a plan comes together, Mike. <clears throat> um, we're fishing this, you know, Great Lakes River system here, and there's been a lot of pressure. Everybody is throwing bucktails, and granted, bucktails work really good, catch a lot of fish. Once in a while, though, when everyone's throwing the same thing, I like to switch it up a little. And, you know, we went with the dozer here, and yeah, it's similar to a bucktail, but it gives it a little different profile. And of course, a different vibration, different look, and we're fourth boat through this. Threw it up there, two cranks, boom, like that, real nice fish. Yeah, basically, it's just, uh, I got a shallow dog on, because we're fishing really shallow water here, and then uh, it did a double chartreuse blade in front, we call that the dozer blade in front of the bulldog, so. You can do it with uh, weighted ones, magnums, you know, heli dogs, anything, just give a, you know, that little vibration, and uh, man, Three cranks, she pounded it, baby. Good, good start to the morning. This is our second fish that uh, we had hooked. First fish in the boat. She's a nice day. A little spawning scar there. Nice chunky fish, though. Good solid. Right on, man. Smell that old musky slime, and there she wants to go. Thank you, girl. That's the way to start off, right there, baby. She's probably what 44? Yeah, I would say mid 40s. Nice fish, chunky, good, healthy. 
She is about ready to go, too. Keys Outdoors is brought to you by Fish Hard Performance Outdoor Clothing and Jack Daniels. Americans, we're the creators of things born of an independent spirit, designers of the great, architects of the useful, composers of the loud, builders of the beautiful. We live in a country that lets people make things they believe in, and that's as American as, well. For 2015 Keys Custom Collars, new for this year, Musky Busters KO Custom Collared Leopard Frog Lowrider and Super Humper Bullfrog Pattern. Also KO Custom Collar Musky Innovation Subtle Tails when only a little color is needed. And from Musky Mayhem, four proven time-tested patterns that paid off big for us this year. And there's only one place on earth you can get the Keys Custom Colors and that's at Joe's Sporting Goods. Com. We got noon on our first day out here on the uh, Fox River, and oh, we've encountered about four or five fish. Caught one, lost one. Seems like a lot of the fish are real shallow yet, so we've been working a lot of shallow flats, a lot of shallow cover. It's high noon right now. Things have slowed down a little bit, so we're gonna go take a little break, and then after lunch, we're gonna hit her hard again. guys it's getting a little bit later in the afternoon here one fish in the boat two other off we're looking for another fish here what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a little bit tighter here you know it is uh, water temps these fish are ultra shallow in about two two foot of water so we're gonna move in we're gonna tuck in a little bit tighter just so that our lures are hitting right on the shoreline and then bringing them out Good figure eights, guys. And what we're contending with here, and I'll show you, it's been frustrating, is all this grass. So again, you know, when you feel your blades stop, just give her a good rip, get her through there, get those blades spinning again. But it has been a royal pain in our you-know-whats today. 
is dealing with all this grass, but this is where they're at. They're shallow. And where the muskies are, that's where we have to go. We're going to make one more stop tonight. Two more stops. We're going to hit two more spots. We're going to go up uh, river here and uh, make one more stop on the east side and hopefully put a fish in the boat. So that's what we're going to do. So let's wrap her up here and let's go hit our second spot of the evening here. <laughs> Hook the canoe again. There you go. Huh? That's got it. Arm. Yeah. Uh huh. That'll be so fun. <laughs> Stay whatever it is. Oh, oh, it's a ski, but. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man, they're in here. I think that it hit me at first and missed and came up because I felt a double tap. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> okay, that was interesting. Ready? Yep. Oh, nice one. There we go. Green Bay, Wisconsin, baby. That's what it's all about. What a dandy fish. Tell you what, we'll let her go back and try and get some get some more in the boat here. We've got a couple hours left. Back down. That's a little slime time, baby. Starting out our Wisconsin season here on the Fox River. That's what it's all about. What we're doing, guys, is we're throwing the blade and rubber combination and uh, what happened is I threw up on that fish and it swung at it. I set the hook on it, it got off, then it came after it again and must have missed it. But uh, very aggressive fish that one was. She wanted to eat, no doubt about it. But what we're throwing here, guys, are these by Musky Innovations. Either the spring dog works really good for this or the regular dogs work good. You know, you want to downsize this time of the year. And then what we're doing is we're tipping it with a blade. And that blade, again, it's a com winning combination of blade and rubber mixed. But you can go online to Musky Innovations and uh, purchase these yourself. They're an awesome tool. Especially when everybody else is throwing just solid bucktails, mixing up that, that rubber blade combination can pay off. So we'll be right back after a word from our sponsors. Yeah, baby. The smell of musky funk in the air. You gotta love it. We'll be right back. Keys Outdoors is brought to you by Great Clips and the Skeeter Boat Center. Unbelievable. This is awesome. Come on, really? I knew he was going to shank it. I didn't shank it! <laughs> Seriously, what are we supposed to do with this? What if I just, uh... No, no, no! Oh. No, don't do that. Sorry. He is really in there. That slime dripping off? It is. Yep. That's nice. Wouldn't it be great if every situation had helpful notes? That's why at Great Clips, we have clip notes. Notes that say exactly what you like. So don't just get a cut, get your hair cut. Great Clips, it's going to be great. Crusher, man, and we're actually bringing the crusher back, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, really, very cool, and it's on the crusher again. That's three in a row. Man, man, big head shakes, big head shakes. I've never been much for buying things because of a name. For me, it's about the product. 
That's why I fish out of the Skeeter MX2025, powered by Yamaha, the world's best musky boat. I mean, if we're throwing names around, well then, I'm throwing the Skeeter MX series out there. Hooking up on some monster skis. Just saying. Here it is, 4.30 in the morning, day two. Fox River Valley, so you want to be a musky angler. You know, so hopefully two in the boat yesterday, another two off, hopefully we'll get another one here, but we've got a lot of uh, equipment we gotta load up here. But welcome to our world, this time of the year, very little sleep, that's for sure. Well guys, it's uh, middle of day two, and unfortunately we got high skies, sunshine, and high pressure system. And to be honest with you, it's a, been a very tough morning. Uh, we went to a couple spots we knew fish were. We had action. Uh, Mike lost a really nice one while it short hit a really big fish. But as soon as that little window, and it was like about a 45 minute window this morning, as soon as that window shut, it's been tough. I think what we're thinking is that the fish have slid off of the flats a little bit. Some of those fish are now moving out to the lake that are done spawning. So as you can see, we set up the trolling spread. We're going to troll probably, I'm going to say three, four hours, hopefully get into a few fish. And then once that evening stuff comes along again, we're hoping that the fish slide back up and we're going to go back to the cast. Nice fish. Well, I'll tell you what, fish in the shallow water, guys, this is what you get. You get these snagged fish. Yeah, it does happen. Look at how beat up they mm -hmm. are. It's a little male. Little male. Let's see what I can do here. A skiing little male. He ain't coming out. He's coming. I'm coming come around this way. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Keep that hook on this side of him. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's not happy.
what are you gonna do? Fishing, you know, this two and a half to four foot of water, cranking bucktails, and uh, this is what happens. I just felt a bump, and I set the hook on it, and male fish. But, uh, boy, I'll tell you what. They're in here, they're in here hot and heavy. I figured that it's gonna be about another, probably week to two weeks, tops on the system here. What I mean by that is, as you go further north, like Sturgeon Bay and, and some of the tributaries up that way, they're just, the fish are coming in to spawn where these fish are about spawned out. So you've got probably in the Bay of Green Bay, another two weeks of uh, fishing shallow water fish like this that are in here spawning. So we're gonna get this one unhooked and take a look at her, but you know, I'm not gonna count this fish, but we gotta get it taken care of here. Uh, but man, a lot of fun. Here we go. Yeah, baby. This is what it's all about, man. None of this would be possible without Odyssey batteries, baby. We finally found a battery that can outfish us. Yeah! Three, new lures from Musky Innovation. Dying Dog, a hybrid suspending jerk bait designed to mimic a struggling and dying bait fish. Ripping Dog, a soft plastic bait fish shaped lure that can be jigged or rip casted. A new technique that's catching on in the musky world. Magnum Shallow Invader, the big brother of the time tested standard shallow invader but with a much larger profile that can be casted or trolled. Go to muskyinnovation.com. Alright, man, that's a dandy. Got him! Yes! Wait a minute. Get in the net. Yeah, yeah. 50, baby! That's a nice fish there. That's a four footer for Whoa. sure. Musky Buster's back! The all new Chicago Musky Show is the newest and most innovative musky show ever. Join us January 9th, 10th, and 11th at the Sears Center Arena in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, for all the hottest musky products under one tent in our all new 2015 product showcase. Our seminars feature the best local musky professionals teaching you the latest tactics, new electronic technology, boat rigging, and don't forget the huge casting demo tank. We're taking fishing shows to a whole new level. Come be part of it. Man, he just came up and just pounded that out of nowhere. Nice job, buddy. Just pounded it out of Check nowhere. Check the motor up. Oh, did he come up and smoke that thing? I just saw him come out and wham! Nice fish. I thought it was bigger when it was head shaking. That was cool. Not a bad one. Though. Not a bad one, dude. That's about a 45, 44, oh, yeah. 45. That's 
Easily a 45. Doesn't like what happened to it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what guys, this has been one long day. This is only the third fish we've contacted, but uh, man, you want to talk about sticking with something. And that's just what we did. And we knew these fish have been up here all day. And we came in this bay and uh, nobody's been in it for about three hours. We've been kind of watching it and just letting it sit. And you know what, it paid off. It paid off really nicely for us. Do you want me to grab the net, bud? Yeah. been on the water since 5 a.m. It is now 4 p.m. Fish in the net. Sticking with our pattern, you guys. I mean, middle of the day we did go trolling just because nothing was happening. Kind of mostly rest for us and see if we could pick some fish up that went off the edge. But um, we knew the fish were still up here. You know, that's what we've been seeing the last couple days. And this bay, I tell you what, has not seen a boat in about three, three hours. We've kind of been watching it. And this is a bay that's you know well known for the fish to come up on the on the flats here and sure enough made it through and this fish didn't have pressure. She'd come just screaming on it, eating it, and it was awesome. Nice heavy fish. Oh yeah. There we go. It's probably 45, 46. Nice. Definitely beat up from the spawn. The sheet's done spawning, however, and ready to feed. All right, let's let her go. Thank you, girl. Whew, you were hard earned, baby. But well worth it. Well, it looks like the 2014 musky opener was a huge success. Two fish that ate our lures and two that, well, got in the way of our lures. Nevertheless, the smell of musky lingered in our boat, and that's always good. He's Outdoors, The Quest, has been brought to you by these fine sponsors.